Hi guys, so today we're having a look at the NYX Holographic Eyeliner. So these are £11 in the UK. They come in five shades. There's a copper, a pinky tone, a green, a white and this guy Crystal Vault which is like a bluey silver. So as you can see, I'm wearing this as an eyeshadow, not an eyeliner and you will see why in the application section. So first off, I need to do a little experiment. I need to see if this is going to show on top of black liner because for what I want to do today, I don't actually want to just have silver liner. Um, so I'm going to do myself a little square. I'm going to let it dry. Because basically, I don't have the steadiest drawing hand. So I really need this to work on top of black. So, as you can see, I've got the shade uh, Crystal Vault. It's very pretty. So, come on, dry. Right. Oh. There's a plastic seal on top of this. That's new. I've never seen that on an eyeliner before. But it um, came off nice and easy anyway. Now that I know it's there. Um, so, it is a very nice creamy liner. And yes, it does cover black, so that's good. That means I can do what I wanted to do today. So I'm going to quickly do like a really angled black liner, um, not my normal curvy, and I'll be right back. Right, so not my usual style of liner. Um, more dramatic, more angular. So let's get going with this. So... What I'm going to do, or try to do, is do a kind of a smaller wing inside the black wing with this. Um, I hope this works because in my head it looks really cool. So... Nope, not really working out the way I wanted it to. I wanted a much sharper line than that. Ugh. I think it's going to be hard to get a smooth line with this just because so much of the pigment is effectively shimmer rather than actual pigment. Um, so it's not going to be as fine as pigment in some other products. So let's try the other eye. I'm a bit bummed because I spent a load of time on my face makeup today and I don't want to have to take this off. But so far, this is not... not being what I wanted it to be. Okay, that one looks slightly closer to what I was wanting with like the black border. But it's where it comes back down on my eyelid is where it's not looking like what I wanted. Let's see if I can go back in with my black liner on top of it and, you know, redraw that border. Okay, so not on top of it, almost more beside it, which is going to end up with me having ridiculously huge like oh this is annoying me you can see what I was aiming for can't you slightly maybe I need more talent No, this is way too chunky to try and draw on top of. Wow, okay, so no, I'm not loving it as an eyeliner, um, either on its own or with black, because it just looks really 
chunky. I'm going to have to take this off. Bummer. Um, we'll try something else using it just as an eyeshadow. I'm back with my now slightly messed up makeup. So I don't think I'm ever going to get good results with this as a liner just because of the kind of chunky texture of it. So. I mean, it's very pretty, but I don't see it working as a liner for me. Um, I think by the time you build up like a dense enough line, um, I don't know. That now does look good. It's like I just couldn't get it on my eyes or like there was a chunky line of it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it as like a cream shadow instead. To be honest, I think that's going to be a much better look than, you know, eyeliner that colour. So I'm just going to try and get my finger in, but it's a very small jar. If you have long nails, you will be having an awkward time. Um, and I'm just going to get it tapped across my lid. So would I say this is hollow, which is what it's claiming to be? Uh, no. Um, it's just more of an iridescent shade. I hate the amount of things that are now getting marketed as whole when they're not. Not because I'm quite as obsessive as, you know, Christine Simply Neological, but I do like hollow and, you know, if somebody puts that on the packaging and then it's not, I'm going to feel let down. Whereas if they said, here is this amazing shimmery iridescent product and I tried it out and it was an amazing shimmery iridescent product, I'd be happy. And I wouldn't feel let down. So I don't think they're doing themselves any favours um, by, you know, sticking hollow on there when it's not. So it is a really, really pretty shade. I'm just going to try and build it up a little bit more in this eye because there's a little baldy pot spot. So I'm not going to set that, I'm going to leave it as is and kind of see how it goes. Um, I'm going to just blend some more purpley dark shades into the crease and why is this not cooperating? Um, I'm just going to grab some out of the shade and light plum, um, I was about to say duo but that's not right, um, quad. So I'm just going to start with the middle of the smaller shades. Um, Kind of get a wash of colour going on in there. Be interesting to see how other products do blend with this as well because it is a very wet feeling product when you're blending on with your finger. And then just into the darkest shade. Maybe not, maybe I want darker than that. Okay. I feel like it's taking a little bit of work for anything to kind of sit nicely beside this. So that's a bit of a bummer. Um, although maybe it's also to do with not setting it. Maybe if I set it with a shadow, you know, it would then play better. But I don't want to set it, I want to just see its own prettiness. Why is this eye just not playing today? Because this eye looks so much prettier than this one. Uh. Do -do -do -do. Let's try putting this on with a brush on my lids and see if that works a bit better.
Okay, I do think this seems to prefer going on with a brush than fingers. Fingers, I felt like sometimes I was just lifting the product back up again. Whereas this, I'm getting a fantastic foiled effect, which is really cool. Sorry, I'm being quiet, but I've messed up my makeup enough today. I don't want to mess it up again. Not in the mood for trying to surgically remove eyeshadow another time. Plus, I want to go out and do something today. <laughs> so, now that I've used that as an eyeshadow, I'm realising I'm about to try and go over it with eyeliner again. Um, so, let's see how that goes. Um, maybe you know, a true liquid or a gel liner would go on easier than a pen, but in fact, my pen even needs cleaned because it's gunked up. So much happier with my normal wings though. In fact, I'm going to do both the wings first and then go in with the lid because I feel like this might get a little bit like gunked up on my pen nib again um, and yeah I feel like I waste a bit of the, the liner every time I'm cleaning the nib so let's minimize how many times I'm cleaning it basically Yeah, this is definitely taking a few passes. Try and get it to look good and black on top of it. For some reason it doesn't seem to want to go as close to my lash line as normal as well. So that's strange. God, this is going to be like the longest application section ever, even though it's for such a tiny thing. Um, yeah, so I think if you were good with traditional liquid liner, this might be a product to, you know, if you were going to try and draw on top of it, that would be the way to go. Because um, I am not having much luck trying to get this to look good and smooth and black, am I? I think that's about as good as it's going to get, to be honest with you. And I'm not exactly loving today's eyeliner. It's a bummer, I normally love my eyeliner. And I need to stop just going backwards and trying to fix it because that's not going to make it better. I'm just going to end up with massively chunky eyeliner. And that's not a good solution either. So I'm going to throw on mascara and go about my day. Um, the time just now is 11.04, so we'll see how this kind of holds up throughout the day. Right, so I am back. It is 20 past 5, so I've had this on for about 6 hours. Let's zoom in, because I actually haven't even looked really myself yet. Um, so, it's not the best. It's looking a little bit creasy. Um, And it's a bit kind of, I don't know, can you see that chunk in the texture there? I know that's a very descriptive word there. But like here, where it's all kind of, I don't know, almost like it's separating. And then it seems to have went down on top of the eyeliner a bit more. Um, so, 
Hmm. It still looks pretty from a distance, um, but up close, it's just, um, don't know. It's just not sitting particularly well. That being said, it is obviously meant to be a liner, not a shadow. So it's designed to go in a bit of your eye that doesn't move and fold quite the same. Um, so, yeah, the bit down near the lash line looks fine. Um, and the inner corner where, again, there's not much of that like folding area um, looks fine as well. Which makes me think, as a liner, it would still be looking okay just now. I just think this is kind of like a weird colour for a liner, personally. Um, but I will continue to wear this and see how it is at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, I think this would just be more of like an accent type colour um, rather than an all over liner anyway. So yeah, I'll be back later. Right, I'm back for my end of the day check-in. So it is 10 past 10. I had this on for 13 hours. So let's have a zoom in. I still somehow feel like I'm cheating because I didn't use it as liner. Um, but there we go. So it just kind of looks, you know, worse than earlier. Um, so basically the same issues have just kind of exacerbated. Um, there's like clumpy looking bits. And there's like a, well there's basically a crease in my crease. So there's like a bald spot. Kind of like right along there and also it's kind of settled away from that um yeah so eh. okay so overall I'm not particularly in love with this I feel like the color selection is a bit weird for you know liner um I feel like I'm almost tempted to use this more as like a really odd highlight because see if you, you know, go really light with it and blend it in, it does just kind of catch the light nice and it gives a little bit of glitteriness. Um, but I don't know. I mean, price wise, I don't think this is particularly affordable. I used to think of NYX as a drugstore brand, but I feel like they're getting less and less affordable as time goes on. I might be wrong, they've not been in the UK for particularly long, but there's 2.8 grams in this, it's £11. There's 3 grams in a MAC fluid line and it's £17. So I don't think that's a big enough price gap between drugstore and like, you know, stuff you find in a department store. So colour selection, weird. Thought I could use it as just a cream eyeshadow hasn't worked out particularly well. When I tried to use it as liner earlier, it didn't go particularly well either. Um, so I think, no, for me, this is a pass. Um, I think you would have to have a very specific look to use this as eyeliner. You know, you'd have a very specific goal in mind and probably not one where you would use up this much product. Um, so for me, I say this is a pass, it's a goodbye, not in love. If they had brought out like a black version or a deep purple version with this kind of shimmer, I think that would have been bomb, but hey. So any questions, leave them down below, any requests, leave them down below. I will get back to you. Hope you all had a fabulous weekend. I finally got to sleep after 12 days in a row of working. Well, obviously I slept, but I got to have a lie-in until 8 o'clock when the builders started using a pneumatic drill behind my house. Uh, so, yay! Um, I hope you guys have a good week and I will see you all on Friday.